Good day, fellow investors. We have already discussed two Russian investments. One is Gazprom, the Russian natural gas and oil company, and the second is Norilsk Nickel. One is related to politics and oil prices, the second is related to the global environment and doesn't have much to do with Russia. So a very interesting investment. However, I have recently analyzed Russia as a country, as an economy, and looked at its future outlook, and things are turning positive. So if you want to catch the positive trend that's going on in Russia, now is the time to invest. Let me elaborate on that. Oil prices in the last five years have been negative, and this has had a very negative influence on the Russian GDP, with declines of 4 or 3% quarterly. However, oil prices have stabilized, and now the Russian GDP has returned to growth, despite the low oil and commodity prices, which is very, very interesting and a positive sign. What's also interesting is that the Russian balance of trade is still positive, despite the low oil prices, which means there will be a stronger currency, which is very important to invest in Russia. The rubble has been strengthening in relation to the dollar for the last two years, practically. So I really see it continuing to strengthen. The dollar is weakening as the Fed cannot tighten as planned. And if things continue to go well in Russia, then Russia would be a good, good investment. On top of everything, if you look at the fundamentals, Russia has one of the cheapest price earnings ratios in the world. Russia and China are close. What's also very interesting, the price to book value is among the lowest in the world, 0.8, and the dividend yield are also extremely high with an average of 5.1%. If the rubble increases, then the dividends will be even stronger. A recent chart from Goldman shows how the future impulse, the bed is behind Russia, sanctions, oil prices, whatever happened in the last few years was very negative. However, the future impulse is very positive and we can expect growth coming back to Russia. In addition, for the longer term, what's extremely positive, and the Western world doesn't see it coming, but it's there, it's coming. The One Belt, One Road Chinese project that has the aim to connect 65 countries in Asia and Europe with increased infrastructure is going to help Russia, the Commonwealth of Independent Nations, and the businesses related to Russia, China, and Russia is going to benefit extremely from the development in Asia. Just think of Gazprom's pipelines that go into China. Perhaps they are not now profitable, but in the future they could really be. How to invest in Russia? Well, that's a little bit more tricky. There is always the option of the ETF. However, if you look at the ETF, then you are really going into a bear bank, which is something that we should analyze on this channel, so we, we will do that. And then your oil, gas, again, Sberbank twice. Then we have Norilsk, which is not related to what's going on in Russia, but to nickel, copper, palladium prices. And then you have energy stocks and so on and so on. So the option is to buy energy stocks or different stocks or to really see what's traded on the London Stock Exchange or perhaps even as an ADR on the US Stock Exchange. I'll be researching a few of those stocks, so please consider subscribing to this channel. Now, before concluding, I want to show you one chart that shows the risk of investing in Russia. This is the Russian debt to GDP ratio. It is now at 17%. I went back into history to see when the US for the last time had such a low debt to GDP ratio. And the year was 1913, prior to the First World War. So. The debt comparison, the debt Russia has is very low, so Russia will endure a lot of things. It's a very rich country and it has the benefit of Asia, the Commonwealth of Independent Nations that are taking traction. The future is much more positive than it was in the last few years. And I think it's still a good time to invest. Now, I know Russia is a delicate subject. I'm looking forward to your comments. There will be definitely opposite opinions. However, as an investor, you have to always analyze everything and then see what's the risk, 
what is the reward. Thank you for watching. Click like if you like the content and I look forward to see you in the next video.